Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I got the OtterBox Defender Series case for my Samsung Galaxy S24. OtterBox was kind enough to send this out for review. If you're interested in scooping this up, I'll put some links down in the description. These are gonna run you anywhere from about 45 to 55 bucks, depending on what color. Uh, I'll link the Amazon ones. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, guys, this is also a special video to me. Just a little shout out. We are moved into a new home. It's been about a week of just craziness and mayhem moving with five kids. And unfortunately, I did lose my studio at my old house, but I do have a little setup in our current bedroom. But stay tuned because my dad's going to help me build out a little office in our garage. So if you're interested in kind of checking that out uh, and the progress, which we haven't even started yet, but uh, let me know. I might be interested in kind of doing a quick little video about that stuff. So anyways, with all that being said, here is the box. Uh, looks just like pretty much every Otter Box box. You got the opening where you can touch and fill it if you're like at Best Buy or something. Uh, it is drop plus tested five times to military standard, which just is nuts. Uh, multi layer defense and has this really nice rubbery grip, which we'll talk more about. And then if you look here on the back, it does talk about the wireless charging capabilities. Uh, it is made with more than 50% of recycled plastic, so a lot of companies are really into that right now. It does come with a holster and kickstand and does have port covers to block out dust and dirt, like it says. So let's get it out. So pull this part up here and essentially just pull the case out here. Some uh, warranty stuff, which we don't really care about. Uh, and then the way to get this open is you just kind of lift this part up and then kind of slide it out so that way you're just not messing up anything there and there is the box super grippy has already got like some stuff from the packaging which i'll try to wipe off here in just a minute and then does have this kickstand that uh, acts as a holster as well which we'll kind of put to the side and focus on this first so let me put the phone over let me wipe this down real quick all right, and there we go. So this is the Defender Series, like it says, and this is a really rugged case, guys. Multi-layer defense, has a super cushiony material. I mean, you can see as I push my finger on it, how it absorbs and then goes away. It's almost like your skin, uh, but it does say drop plus there. Just stupid as far as just the amount of protection that you're getting with this case. And it's actually not that thick. I mean, it is a thick case, because uh, it is multi-layered, but not too crazy. So the way to take this apart is I always start with the port flap and kind of pull it so you can start separating that outer shell. And then voila, there you go. You got your rubbery TPU and then the harder polycarbonate interior. But then you see these little arrows here and that's where you start to kind of pop apart the case because this is also kind of a, another step as far as uh, taking it apart and all that because then now you got these two pieces here and what you're gonna do is put the phone in so voila gonna do the piece here I want to make sure that that matches up because you know you want that cut out there for the microphones kind of click that all in so click 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 as you can hear in the video and then now that's what it looks like once it's installed so there it is and then we're gonna install the rubbery part out here and it's pretty simple I mean literally you're just kind of forming it on there and as you can see like even with that side there it, it kind of pushes up against it and just kind of gives a nice hug to it and once you kind of got it all on like you're supposed to then that is all she wrote so there it is installed on my s24 and I uh, gotta say guys, uh, first impressions, it doesn't feel that bad because the S24 is already a small phone. So it does add a little bit of bulk, but it's nothing too crazy. I think it feels really, really, really good in the hands. Now, like I said, with that rubber grip on the back guys, as you can see with that texture, it is nuts how well this case is made. It's just super, super grippy. OtterBox branding there has a higher gloss black outer edge right there that is recessed in protecting those lenses. So really good lens protection there. It would have been kind of cool to see them do something where if they were able to figure out a way to do like the single cutouts for the uh, cameras, obviously I don't think they're gonna be able to do that. It might be a hard thing to do with the multi-layer case, but maybe, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's the look there on the back, feels really good. So like the grip is just nuts as far as the material goes. Now, if we look at the sides here, you can see if we get a little bit closer, hopefully it'll 
focus. There we go. Um, you can see that little pattern there that is kind of ridged a little bit. So a little bit of extra grip when you're holding it. And then you do see the polycarbonate shining through right there. And then we have some square power buttons and volume up and down buttons, which are nicely raised as well. So you can definitely see how good those are. We'll do the clicky button test here in just a bit. And if we look at the top here, we got a nice square cutout for the two microphones. And if we flip it over to the sides here, nice rounded edges, same type of grippy pattern there. Nothing obviously with buttons because it's a 24 and then that polycarbonate shining through again. And then if we look at the bottom, we do have uh, our port flap there, which is like I said, that port cover that is going to protect our USB-C charging port and microphones. And as you can see there, you got a little square part that does cover that microphone because then when you do put it on, it does have that exposed. So it's not interfering with call quality or anything. And then you do have a nice cutout there for the speaker. Nice rounded edges once again. If we look at it from this top down view here, you can see how the forehead and chins do have a little bit of a raised up part because it's gonna help when you do put the phone face down, it's gonna actually raise it up just a tiny bit as you can see there. So that way it does this little flex so that way the screen's protected. But then as you can see here, looking at it from the top down view, it is nice and rugged as well. So two layers right there, as you can see, nice cut out there for the speaker up top. And it is tempered glass friendly because I do have a tempered glass screen protector installed. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test here. So if I do face down, there's no shaking going on at all. If I go back down, really no shaking going on it either. I mean, it does show it like in that reflection, but it's not really moving. Like when I'm pushing it, it's just really wobbling, but it's not like shaking if that makes sense. So if anything, if I push something like I'm doing, it's not literally moving at all. It's not, yeah, so it, it definitely passes my wobble test with flying colors. So now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test here. And let's start with that power button and then we'll do the volume up and down. So power button first. Volume up and down. Okay. So the power button is clicky. The volume up and down buttons are clickier. So that's not to say that the power button is bad by any means. It's definitely responsive and gives a nice click and feedback, but the power buttons are just a tiny bit clickier. But once again, they pass with flying colors, my clicky button test. So next let's go ahead and test out the capabilities of the wireless charging because it does mention that it is wireless charging compatible. I have my MagSafe charger here. And as you can see, it is wirelessly charging. So there is no issues at all with wireless charging, even though it is a multi-layer case. Now I would have liked to have seen this case have some sort of MagSafe capabilities. Yes, I do know it's an Android phone, but I do have a lot of MagSafe accessories and it would've been kind of cool to have that capability to slap it on, but I'm okay with it. It's not an iPhone, so that's cool. Um, other than that, guys, uh, the case is pretty legit. I mean, it's fantastic. It just feels grippy as crazy. Uh, if you dropped it, I mean, it's gonna withstand pretty much every bump and bruise you can probably throw at it. Now, do I recommend chunking it up like 40 feet in the air? Probably not. But if it falls out of your pocket onto some concrete, I feel pretty good that it's going to survive. So last but not least, the kickstand and holster. So this is something that some people love, some people hate. I like it if you're gonna watch videos or something with it, but I totally don't rock it on my side. But it is a hard plastic that you can see here that the phone clicks in nicely. So as you can see here, clicks in, and now it's not going anywhere. Now with the kickstand part here, it does rotate 360 degrees as you can see there. And what's nice about it too, is if you notice right here, if I push it in hard enough, it will click in and now it's holding in place so it can act as a kickstand. So if I had the phone facing outward, then I could totally watch videos on YouTube. So I could totally watch some videos like this. So you can do it at this angle. You could flip it over and do it like this. You can turn this if you want it to be a little more upright. Uh, so you have a little flexibility with it. It's nothing too crazy, 
uh, but it does the job. And if you want to release this, you just push this down and it releases and, you know, has a, has a nice strong flex to it. So, or nice strong resistance. So it does hold very nicely. You can see how it swoops in right there a little bit. So that way, if you do put it on like a belt loop or something, it's going to click in very nicely. So like I said, you can rock it with the screen facing out or the screen facing in if you want to protect it more, if you have it on your hip. Uh, and that is about it. So there you go, guys. There is the OtterBox Defender Series case. Now I got to say two things stand out to me. The grip of this case is insane. Like if you've never grabbed a Defender Series phone case before, the grip is just nuts. Like you just feel like you'll never drop it. And it doesn't matter if your hands are slippery or super dry. Like the grippiness is just nuts. Now, the other thing, number two, is how much this phone case will pick up little random things. Now, I've already wiped it down once. I will kind of try to wipe it off again a little bit there. And as you can see, it does wipe off nicely, but it is definitely attracting little fuzzies and stuff like that. So if you're wearing it like with jean pockets or something, it is going to pick up stuff like crazy. So just kind of remember that because that's kind of the downside of how grippy this case is. But other than that, guys, the phone case is absolutely fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. So for the money, if you're looking for something that's rugged, if you're in construction or you're, you know, just on the go outside, uh, this is definitely a case I would highly recommend for any phone. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.